The NMC Horizon Report 2012 K-12 edition has arrived. The report examines emerging technologies for their potential impact on and use in teaching, learning, and creative inquiry within the environment of pre-college education. The six technologies to watch in this year's report include mobile devices and apps, tablet computing, game-based learning, personal learning environments, augmented reality, and natural user interfaces. In the near-term horizon, mobile devices and apps continue to grow in value as K-12 learning tools. Apps in particular are the fastest growing dimension of mobile space in K-12. The best take advantage of device capabilities like location, motion, and social to create a seamless, full-featured experience. Similar to mobile devices in mobility and function is tablet computing. High-resolution screens allow users to easily share content and app-based programs for learning and creation are replacing more expensive and cumbersome devices, making them an affordable solution for many schools. In the second adoption horizon, two to three years away, game-based learning continues to gain traction as it demonstrates its effectiveness for learning. Games like Minecraft and SimCity are being used in classrooms to help students relate to course content. Right now, game-based learning is mostly driven by motivated educators interested in experimenting with games in lesson plans. Personal learning environments also fall in the two to three year timeline. Personal learning environments refer to the personal collection of tools and resources a person assembles to support their own learning. There's been a corresponding move away from centralized server-based solutions as smartphones, tablets, and apps have begun to emerge as an alternative to browser-based PLEs and e-portfolios. Four to five years away, on the far-term horizon, augmented reality blends real life with information, making it a promising tool for visual and highly interactive forms of learning. The most common uses of augmented reality currently are in entertainment and marketing, but schools will likely follow as technology matures and simplifies. Natural user interfaces allow computers to respond to gestures, motions of the body, facial expressions, voice, sound, and other environmental cues, and are replacing the keyboard and mouse as the standard for computer-human interaction. The technology makes the interfaces and interactions far more intuitive, perfect for K-12 students since they often need no instructions. Examples of natural user interfaces range from gesture-based controls in the latest gaming systems like Xbox Connect and Nintendo Wii, to voice-activated virtual assistants such as Siri on the iPhone 4S. In this edition of the Horizon K-12 report, key trends and significant challenges were highlighted in addition to the technologies to watch. The trends are outlined in the report as key drivers of educational technology adoptions for 2012 through 2017, as ranked by the advisory board. The advisory board also analyzed current events, papers, articles, and personal experience to detail a long list of challenges schools might face adopting any new technology. Both trends and challenges are laid out in this year's report. While the NMC Horizon Report K-12 edition is only published once a year, the report lives on year-round under the hashtag NMCHC on Twitter. Join the conversation by posting your own findings, observations, or counterpoints on these trends and technologies. And if you'd like to be a part of the Horizon Report, apply to join the Horizon Advisory Board or submit your project to be considered for next year's report by going to nmc.org slash horizon. Access the Horizon Report 2012 K-12 edition in the NMC Horizon EdTech Weekly app available at go.nmc.org slash app.